I just wasn't me, you know? I was consumed by something else. I don't know what it was, but I never want to be in that place again. With Dr. McKenna's help, I'll never have to be. Barry, your progress is marked and quite impressive. You're approaching freedom from shackles that have bound you for all your life. How old were you when this all began? I think I was 13 the first time. And to think that you've been under such a, a heavy burden for all these decades. How does it feel to finally be on a path towards rehabilitation? It feels wonderful. I feel like I have a future for the first time. Barry Dunsmore is one of my greater success stories. He came to me a broken man, fragmented, lost and alone. And how he's grown. Of course, you know the old adage. Those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. Barry mustn't forget the past. Before there was rage. So much rage. I couldn't hold it in, so I let it out. It came out in a nasty way. We don't use the term serial killer. We prefer... Well, there aren't many other ways to say it. Seven first degree premeditated, three voluntary manslaughter, and 16 second degree. Yes, I believe that's all of them. So far. I take all of my patients seriously, but Barry's condition required that certain extra touch. The exercises have helped immensely. Without ways to vent my anger, there's no telling where I'd be today. You see, the therapeutical techniques I've been utilizing my entire career simply did not work for Barry, so we were required to develop our own strict regime on the road to his full recovery. I smother baby dolls, but I don't smother babies. <laughs> I mean, as far as I've come, I just keep thinking, I don't want to be better, I need to be better. And as long as I just keep thinking about being better, I'm not better. I have hope. Barry has conviction, if nothing else. But these kinds of cases don't usually end in full recovery. Barry is a difficult road ahead if he hopes to achieve his goal. I get a lot of crap, you know? Okay, so I probably deserved a lot of crap I got, but that doesn't change the fact that I got a lot of it. I'm ready for people to like me. I don't want them to run away and scream in terror every time someone approaches me. Though I guess that's understandable too. I just want to change. I'm not just working for Barry's benefit anymore. I've come to truly care for him. He's become like a son to me. Of course, I already have a son. I suppose Barry's like my psychopathic son. Barry, how does total liberation feel? For the first time ever, I feel alive. Just like all those people that I didn't kill. Well, you have every right to be proud, Barry. Your achievement is tremendous. It's my belief that we can reduce your visitations to once per week. I present to you, your 12 month chip. Barry proved me wrong. Though he showed signs of perseverance, many do at first. I question whether the man truly had what it took to achieve full recovery. He did. I love Dr. McKenna. He and I have grown very close over the months that we've worked together. I feel ready to start living my life the way I want to. I'm excited. I finally feel free from the invisible forces that used to hold me. Thanks to him, I'm happy. I'm happy for Barry. He's worked so hard and he's finally reached his payoff. You know, Barry's affliction caused him to murder those with whom he had close personal relationships. So, I guess all I can do at this point is send Barry out his way and pit my hopes against the relapse. Barry?